I'd like to show you how you can add a place mark to Google Earth and embed all kinds of interesting things in that place marker. To do it, uh, just fly to the location that you would like to create a new place mark for. In this case, I'm going to do my school. So I'm going to fly in to Southfield Christian School. And once I'm there, um, you can do this a couple ways. You can either go up to the top uh, menu bar and say Add Place Mark, or in your Places folder right here, you can uh, right click on one of the existing items and say Add Place Mark. Either case, this will appear. And you can click and drag this place mark and place it precisely where you'd like to put it. And then you have a description box where you can type in information about that place mark. You can also click this button right here and pick from a variety of different icons, which might be better suited to what you're doing. Um, we'll go ahead and change mine to a green push pin. Um, so we'll give this a name. And um, I can type in whatever text I want. Uh, so field. Say OK. And your place mark is now placed. And if you click on it, a balloon will pop up with the message that you typed. So that's the basics of adding a place marker. And there's a lot of cool things that you can do with place markers. And I'm sure that if you've explored other place markers, like we'll look at this one here, um, created by or added by Google. Um, we've got web links. Um, if you've turned on the YouTube layer, you've seen YouTube videos. We've got pictures, lots of different things. You can add this as well, and it's fairly simple to do. It does um, require a little bit of coding, but it's not complicated. You don't, you don't need to know anything about HTML to do this. And I've provided a little cheat sheet for you in a PDF that will give you the code, and you just need to replace it with the text that um, uh, you want to add. So let's um, go ahead and, and uh, try a picture, first of all. Um, show you a couple that I have ready to go. I prepared this ahead of time. So if I click on my place marker, I open it up, and I'm going to uh, right click and say properties. So allow me to edit it. And I'm going to paste in um, some text not related to this site, but uh, just some placeholder text. Then I'll draw your attention here to this uh, line of code. This is the image code. Uh, very simple. It just has this image source prefix and then the location of the image on my computer and then um, brackets to close it off. So if I say OK and look at that, you can see now I've got an image along with my text. Uh, very easy to do. You can add a picture from your hard drive or a picture from the web. Um, you can just replace the uh, path here, which leads to my hard drive, with a path to the image posted on the internet. That's fine. Um, you can also post YouTube videos. Let me show you how to do that. That's uh, even simpler. Um, all you need to do is go to YouTube. And um, pull up a video. This is a video that some of my students created. And copy the embed code, which you see right there. And you can go ahead and choose your border, your size, and all that. That'll still work. We'll just copy that. Go back to Google Earth. Once again, we'll edit our place marker. I'm going to add that underneath the image. Paste that in. Say OK. Now when I open it up, I'll have my video and my image there. So it's pretty easy, pretty uh, simple to do. There's a couple other things you can do. You can add links to your email address. Um, you can add Google Docs and Google Forms by adding uh, uh, an iframe embed code. Um, and I've uh, given you the code for all of that on the PDF document. 
um, posted online. So play around with that. You can add a lot of interesting um, media in there to really extend the function of Google Earth as your students explore the world.